airport, which is populated by Flight Sim 9 aircraft uh, within Prepare 3D. Now, there's only a couple of things that you need to learn uh, to get AI aircraft to show. They can be Flight Sim 9, Flight Sim 10, or dedicated Flight Sim, uh, sorry, uh, Prepare 3D aircraft. Uh, I'm just going through a time lapse here. The airport that you see here is uh, RAF Base Williamstown, based in New South Wales in Australia. Uh, you can obviously tell by the accent that I'm also in Australia. Uh, it took me a little bit of time to learn how to do this, but there's only really two steps. It's not like Flight Sim 10. You can't just have Flight Sim 9 flight plans, chuck them into the Scenery World Scenery Directory, chuck in some Flight Sim 9 aircraft, and it works. Sure, that might work for Flight Sim 10, different kettle of fish in, in prepare. Now, I run my traffic at around 70%. I like a lot of aircraft, and I run my car traffic, or my vehicle traffic, around oh, 30%, because I like to have moving traffic as well. Now, I'm just in slow-mo, just sitting here, and I've got the time preview going. Um, 25, roughly 25 minutes per second, so it's gonna go day, night, day, night, while we're, while we're talking. Okay, basically what you need to do is to get all your uh, traffic, uh, Flight Sim 9 traffic files, and, or Flight Sim X traffic files, and convert them in Prepare 3D format. Uh, you need to get a program, I'll open that up now so you can see it. You need to download this program, I'll put some links in the description below, and this one's called AI Traffic Planner. I'm only using an old version, uh, it'll do for me, right? What you basically do is you open up your traffic file, mine's default on Lockheed Martin anyway, just open up, you can see they're done, so there's a Flight Sim 10 one. Hypothetically, let's say that's a Flight Sim 9 one, because I don't have any Flight Sim 9, I haven't used that sim for years now, but say that's a Flight Sim 9 one. We open that up, it shows you obviously the flight plans here, where they're going to, and the aircraft used. Okay, you wanna to go to the bottom right hand corner, you can see it's highlighted there in blue. I'm just, you don't see the mouse pointer, but you can see it's flashing there in blue. You wanna open that up, uh, depending on which one you want. If you want it for Flight Sim 10, use Flight Sim 10. There's Steam Edition, Prepared Version 1, or Prepare 3D Version 1, Version 2, and Version 3. I'm using Version 3 here, so I'll use that. You want to give that a designated name. That will actually change the save name down here. And let's call it P3D, okay? Once you hit OK down here, you'll see that'll change down the bottom and you can see it's changed down here, okay? Once you've done that, just hit compile. As long as the flight plan is okay and it doesn't have faults, it'll compile okay. If it does have faults, go through the faults, go through the text file, work out what the faults are and fix the faults. Okay, that's all you do. Your flight plan is now in prepare 3D format. Close this program, you don't need that program anymore. Right, the second thing you need to do is you need to edit the sim objects dot config file. Now Flight Sim 10 doesn't use it. This is where Prepare 3D is a little different and a lot of people don't understand where it is. Open up Explorer, go to your C drive and go to Program Data. Now if you don't see Program Data, I've got mine set a little different, but you basically get up to Tools up here, go to Folder Options, go to View Settings, underneath where it says Hidden Files and Folders, you want a little check mark next to hidden files and folders so you can see them, okay? Once you've done that, hit OK or hit Apply and OK, up to you. And then you'll see Program Data. You want to go into Program Data, go down to where you see Lockheed Martin, Prepare 3D here, right? Find one called Sim Objects. Now there's nine listings in there which are default. I'll just open that up now. I'm, I'm using a program called Notepad 2. You can open it up in Notepad or any other you know, text-based viewer and editor. So the first nine, as I say, these are all prepared. Don't play with them, leave them exactly the same, right? Unless you want to take them out, right? Add another entry, entry 10. In my case, it's military AI work, so I use the Australian uh, aircraft. Um, I've actually got my aircraft on a different hard drive to C drive, because C drive, I'm running an SSD and they've got a finite space and the more you write to them and the more you read from them, as shortens their life over, over a span of years, right? So 
I've got mine actually on G Drive, which is a completely different hard drive. I've made a directory called Flight Sim Stuff, Sim Objects, Keep It Sim Objects, and then MAIW. Okay, put all your aircraft in there, make sure it's required, and make sure it's active. Okay, once you've done that, you can add other stuff. I've got my own aircraft, which I've created. So I've got a Loz AI, okay, also in Sim Objects. And because I've got my traffic, I've also got the my traffic. And you've got to make sure these are required, required and active are both true. Once you've added those, you close that down. Make sure your aircraft are actually in that. There's the games directory, there's the flight sim stuff, uh, there's the sim objects, and these are all the aircraft, right? Not all of them are loaded. I've only got my traffic loaded, Loz AI and military AI works. So you've you've changed or you've added to the sim objects config file you've made a directory which contains all the aircraft so you can have traffic 360 or whatever package that you use right but you've got to have a minimum of flight sim 10 formatted flight plans that's the most important thing if you have one and i specify here if you only have one flight sim 9 flight plan and the rest are all flight sim 10 or prepare 3d flight plans in lockheed martin that will be the only plane that will be flying, the one that is Flight Sim 9 format. For some reason, it overrides the whole lot, and you won't see any Flight Sim 10 or Flight Sim uh, or Prepare 3D aircraft. You'll only see that one Flight Sim 9. So ensure that all of them are Flight Sim 10 at an absolute minimum. So going in here, you can actually do a bulk convert. So you can, somewhere in here, I can't remember, if it's in here somewhere, but in here you can actually here we go, F convert Flight Sim 9 traffic files to Flight Sim X. So you can tag the whole lot and get this program uh, to actually compile them. They might have errors, you'll have to sort out the errors, right? Some will be landing at the airport at say two o'clock in the afternoon, but, but scheduled to take off at one o'clock in the afternoon. You know, that can't happen, so you'll have to fix that schedule. There might be thousands, there might be 10, you know? That's just something you'll have to do. And you can use this program to fix those, fix it. You just open up whatever I've done it I've done all mine so I can't give you an example right and and that's basically it so if you like it as I say I'll give you some some links below um, to where you can get some of these packages most of these packages are free um, and and yeah go from there okay if you like it give me a thumbs up subscribe if you want to and I'll put some more handy little videos up and hopefully this gets AI aircraft showing in your sim catch you for now